In this channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the season finale, but still no pants. And you know why? It is a hobby, not a job. Let's begin. Last order to Yobare Kanajo Atamaniba. Ama Yao to your Kenku. Why is this getting mentioned? Right now? Wait, 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 what? What the fuck are. That's better. I'm like, wait. I swear to God, we already. What? Is Accelerator coming back for this episode? No, no, no. Wrong episode. Wrong episode. Let's go. We're doing the whole golem stuff with Hyoka and, you know, Toma and the imaginary districts. I was getting kind of hyped for like, oh shit, Accelerator coming back today? The pounding? Yeah? Okay, Hyoka. You're taking all kind of abuse. Couldn't touch her with the right hand there. Imaginary number districts. Five element agency. Alright, here we go. Can't imagine break that. Shitty. Yo, punch her right now. How are you gonna fight us? Can you summon multiple goals? Starting a war. Yeah, we're trying to, trying to fuck you over. Yeah, the bleeding that comes out like Chimikado. I thought it was. Is it common knowledge? Esper's using magic? Because like magic is supposed to be forbidden knowledge. No one is supposed to know magic except for a few select people. Yet, it's common knowledge that people get injured and start bleeding. I mean, like even in, you know, the Izzard arc, right? With the whole vampire shit, we were forcing the students there to kind of like use, you know, magic there. Right? What's going on? Where are we going with this? There's some conspiracy happening. <laughs> 20 years ago. Alliance. Combine abilities with their magic. Okay. Science and magic hybrid. Alistair. Never mind. The golem? Edis? Wait, wait. So Edis, Edis used to be an actual person. And it used to be an Esper. Okay, what happened to Edis? Why is he a golem kind of thing? Okay. <laughs> And then? So, Eris used to be an Esper here, but Sherry already knew Eris and then taught him magic and he became a bloody mess. While trying to allow me to escape from the night. Okay, keep going. Okay. Basically, like, her friend, the whole research hybrid magic science, sure, Eris got fucked over. And now she wants segregation. She doesn't want any of this shit overlapping. And stay the fuck at your own place. Why are you coming in here as an illegal immigrant starting shit and saying we should be segregated? The fuck are you doing here right now? Go home. Go away. We. Mm. Almost breaks out. I think we're right about that. You are a victim though. Toma's gonna be like, there, there, it's okay. I forgive you, Sherry. Your backstory with Edis is kind of mid but sad. I forgive you. When did she draw all that again? Bro, oh, I didn't see that before. What? The, her, her chalk abilities are crazy. Okay. It's your advantage. What about Shetty though? Direction, position, caster. Fuck it up. Misalign it. 3.14. Hi. Okay. The ground is fake ones. Got it. Let's go. 
<laughs> that was actually such fast thinking to be able to recognize that the magic circles in the bottom are actually fraudulent ones to protect her and then boom get fucked punch a girl in the face i love it i love it one more time punch her again dude she got one shot i mean the punch was pretty ridiculous like the punch created this fucking you know, look at that indent onto fucking concrete. Like, that's a crazy punch that I think about it. Thomas punch is insane. Like, 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 like that's actually crazy how strong that punch was. One more time. Yo, don't let her draw. Yeah, Alistair, honestly, the borders are really loose. Index. Us, right? Our index. Yeah. Oh, we yapping. Here we go. True. True. Let's go, Toma. <laughs> it's like every one of her actions. It's, 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 it's so fucking... Stupid. It's like, I want to start a war. Actually, I want segregation. Y'all should stay in your own fucking lanes. I wanted to actually just brink of a war. Actually, no, I don't even want them to fight at all. I'm the victim. Poor Ellis. Yeah, I can tell, lady. Eddie's. Yeah. <laughs> I was reluctantly forced into being stuck with Index. <laughs> she does just fucking mooch off of us and she kind of is a liability and we do kind of just take care of her. Reluctantly? No, we love Index. She's a friend. I want to protect her. <laughs> Yeah, we'd be chill. We would actually just be chill. Like, it's her one instance where magic and science, you know, meeting together, created bad scenario and suffering happened. She doesn't want more suffering to happen, so she wants segregation to happen. But that can't happen unless there's like a brink of a war kind of starting here, I guess, right? Oh, my dear friend. Oh, lot. Punch her. But I can't take you seriously when you're crying like this. I feel like we need to save you with a punch to the face. Get it. Yo, the fucking chalk got broken we imagine broke the chalk but the chalk is supposed to be like this like magical chalk thing right that was a pretty cool scene though it's just fucking punched the chalk yeah. she feels the cognitive dissonance she knows it's wrong one more time one more time i love it when he punches girls yeah 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 Ooh. like like the whole thing is she's pretty much almost like Seeking atonement, punishment? She wants someone to call her out, and Toma is that answer. Get back with Index. Index was so peak last episode. Wait, 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 wait. Did Eris switch from uh, different modes because of the punch that Toma just had? <laughs> so like index was popping off everything was good index is like dismantle dismantle acronyms a b c d e f g ha 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 and toma imagine broke the chalk ellis is now changing forms and index is like ah shit it's not gonna work anymore <laughs> fuck <laughs> toma we kind of fucked up uh-oh uh-oh <laughs> Who's gonna save Index? Hyoka? Hyoka. Hyoka. We got baited with the fucking flesh sound. What the hell? Bro, the, the, the last
last episode, there was a cliffhanger with like a flush sound, so I thought Hyoka got just clobbered, but no, she like kicked it. Hi. It was her leg, I think the flesh got fucked up. Like if you look at her leg, I think it's gonna show us right now actually. That's what the sound was. That's what the sound was. But it heals back up. She's kind of insane. Like Hyoka will just continuously just regenerate. Because she just basically, you know, diffusion feels, right? It, 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 she doesn't take any damage. The fuck, it's got a black hole mechanic? Index fan service. You know what would be nice right now? If a level 5 showed up and did this. Yo, where's the railgun right now? I think it's getting bigger. The cutest thing here is Sphinx barely holding on. Dude, poor Sphinx, man. Hyoka could do it. You never know. She's different. Yo, yo, focus, focus, focus! Damn, she's strong. She is not helpless. I thought that she would be like a meat shield. She can fucking fight. She is strong. Titty scenes. Titty scenes. Toma! Toma! Someone's coming, someone's coming, someone's coming! Imagine break! Hi! The hero! <laughs> I think. I don't think you guys realize how ridiculous this is right now. How he's literally doing a yapping session while mid-air jumping slow motion. He's about to insert intercept the fucking fist and he's still fucking yapping his lines. This is amazing. Look, look. The multitask is crazy. Imagine break. Ooh. Let's go. One shot. I was a bit confused about like how he was going to handle the punches, right? Because when you see like a punch like this coming, of course, if we make contact, imagine break will happen. But I thought the sheer force of the weight behind a punch would like kind of dissuade him from using imagine breaker because his arm would get all crushed in the process. But it doesn't really seem like it. Upon contact, the force all just kind of like is gone. The Imagine Breaker sound effect is so satisfying. Hey, we, can, we can hang out, what are you talking about? Intermission. Being so cute. Oh. Sensei's? No, Misaka. You useless piece of shit, where were you? Well, I think it's intentional why the author didn't include Misaka here because it should have been Hyoka, Index, and Toma saving the day, right? Misaka, I think, was intentionally not put in in order to highlight these other characters. Instead of calling her fraud, what about Hime? What was the whole point of Hime even showing up? What is her purpose? She's a substitute kid. I thought that's it. What does she do? I don't know. Just my luck. What about Hyoka though? Where is she? Is she just gone? Oh! That was very cute. That, that was very cute. He's acting all nonchalant, nonchalant. And she realizes. Oh shit. I want the guy I like. And he's kind of just looking at Index right now. What a delayed response. <laughs> Peak singular. Hello, judgment. Nope. You're part of judgment, though. Bye. All right, Kuroko has just, you know, gotten rid of her. Why did he look up? He 
because they teleported upwards? What's the implication there? They're up right now? I don't know. Oh, Hilka's up there. Hey. The pictures. You can still be friends with us, you know? You can literally hang out with us. Come back! Oh, shit, he showed up out of nowhere, too. You did nothing wrong. Great picture. I don't think Index is afraid of you. Just go talk. Thomas got the right hand ready. What happens if he touches her? I'm scared. Am I the only one that thinks that this is crazy? Like, you can't be friends with Index because of what you've shown to her? Like, it's not as if Index is any normal. Did you see her just spamming fucking acronyms? And fucking doing this fucking Index shit? No, no, Index is probably more of a monster than you are, to be honest. You guys can both be friends as monsters. We can all be friends. We're all monsters here. Yeah, I think she just thinks that Index is like a normal girl, right? She has no clue. Oh, therapist Shitoma. Because monsters can't feel those feelings. I'm making the to Toma. Okay. <laughs> is okay, so I think it's what to say. Let me fucking break that illusion for you. Yeah, his hand doesn't twitch the entire time. He's just like... <laughs> the, the entire combo? The hand's fucking... It's, it's urgent to fucking use it. He's tweaking. He's tweaking. But the illusion, it's not broken yet. So let me fucking break that illusion for you. And there's Index. Thinks it's so cute. Oh, my friend! None of this is normal. Trust me. Or not normal. Index is probably upset that Hyoka tried to like throw her life away and leave Index behind. To Index, you're a pro you're like a precious friend. Because you're a friend. Just a little bit differently. But. But. That's so fucking dangerous from this high up. Holy shit. Yeah. We're all friends. Wow. Come on, okay, this is some important lore. Like, whenever Alistair starts talking, you gotta fucking lock in, because he's gonna say some random, bizarre bullshit that's important later on. Completion of a key. Imagine Number School District's five element agency was honestly today's episode title, right? The Imagine Number School District needed a key to access it, right? The key is Hyoka, maybe the triangular prison thing that we've seen or. In the district, I think we even saw it last episode of everybody just shifting towards different things, right? It's like a different, almost Academy City fucking universe, but it's just, you know, we couldn't get to the real world until she touched Index. Hmm. It's actually AM Diffusion Field. The imaginary district, everything, yeah, because those things are made up of AM Diffusion Fields. Hyoka is literally just like a... Just because of AIM deficient fields are stacking up. Alistair's the monster. What you plotting, Alistair? Sense of self. So, Alistair, like, sense of self, is this Hyoka? And Alistair's kind of behind what Hyoka is? Plant a sense of self into it. Crazy shit. What is he thinking about? Different power. Hyoka, that's the being. I don't know. Maybe this is Alistair's ultimate fucking research weapon. Um, I honestly... Is, that, is Alistair also the type of person that's just always, you know, science above all? Like, you know, all research over everything? And, you know, this whole project is to just see the pinnacle of science power? I don't know. Angel! 
例えばカザキリが天使と表現されるエンジョスつまりお前はまさか人工的にエンジョフォー。I know about Sephiroth tree. Rank of angel can't be human. Human can't be angel. Yeah. This is like artificial angels. Artificial heaven. The existence of imaginary school district. AIM diffusion field. Artificial heaven. And, and, and then what? More, more powerful people? What? Okay. Cap. He's playing dumb. He's playing dumb. Majits. Sorcerer. Yet, he's so scientific. He's the ultimate science magic hybrid user? I don't know. But it was, I mean, from the, from the beginning when we met him through Status showing up, right? Something was very up because I'm like, Status is supposed to be like church, magic, but double Asian? Science shit? What really are you, Alistair? Motherfucker just floating upside down, looking all smug, just not even talking, letting us yap, and now he's just playing dumb. He's intentionally doing this shit. I think that, I don't know. I, I always thought it was very suspicious that someone as, you know, godly like him would just allow these immigrants to fucking hop the border all the time. That made no sense to me. I thought it was all intentional. In order for what? For Toma to do something and save the day, it can't be just like random acts of heroism. But maybe the whole whole act of making Toma do this shit, right? Remember what we said. Remember what we、uh, learned about how、um, the church sees Toma faction as a threat, right? Like maybe Alistair also kind of wants that to happen to prop up Toma and let his faction, you know, grow in cloud and cause more conflict and have more church members come in and artificial angels, artificial heaven, something, something for the sake of greater power and knowledge. I don't know. He gonna imagine break you. The world that I believed in fell apart a very long time ago. Is that metaphorical? I'm not sure. But that whole Stimikado place, bro, Stimikado just glazed Toma so fucking hard there. And we can even see his eyes through the shades, which is a significant moment for people that always hide their eyes, bro. Truly shows you how much, like, belief Stimikado has in Toma. He has absolute faith. Almost as if Toma is his god. Like Kamiya. Kami. He, he always just calls him Kami, right? Like, like <laughs> That's it? <laughs> you motherfucker! You're supposed to tell me why! I thought you were gonna keep yapping about the world you believed in fell apart a long time ago. You say the most vague shit. As if this dialogue is fucking helpful. As if I'm supposed to somehow fucking piece in the theories of artificial angel, artificial heaven, you monster! What the fuck does an artificial heaven mean to me? How can I theorize about this shit? Some shows like ReZero and stuff, I can build upon theories with the stuff that the author gives me. This show, it just gives you random fucking disinfo. It's like, what? Carfish, angels, heavens, okay, now what? Okay, the world you believe in is gone? Bye. Yeah, yeah, Lester, get out of here. Give me my favorite doctor, Heaven Counselor. True, this is progress. That's true. <laughs> Komoi Sensei needs a fucking box, bro. Komoi Sensei needs a fucking box to stand on in order to knock Toma on the head. Very cute. Hey, we're your best student, come on. I mean,、uh, she wasn't really a threat. Bonk. It looks cool this way. What? I think it looks fine. It was really cool when Index, like, you know, took the pin off her skirt and kind of had it open for, like, you know, combat movement style. That was really cool. Bzz. Oh, 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 she's disappearing. What the hell? Are you going away? We need more Esper AIM shit going around here. There's no. 
Wait, are you running out of battery? No, no, she'll be chilling. No, we didn't imagine Breaker. No, no, no. It's some godly power. It's power that defies the heavens. Well, with that much information, I guess we can now, you know, focus on, like, Imagine Breaker is not an expert power. I mean, bro, he's like level zero. You would think that people that know he has Imagine Breaker would rate him level zero. I don't really know how, how that works out. I always thought that maybe it was like a combination of like magic and science. But if it's not magic and science, and it's probably not just magic alone, it could be like a third entity, some sort of thing that like defies both entirely that we don't really know about just yet. Where are you going? Imagine districts? Come back! Bye. But she'll be around, watching over us. Yeah, and I think this will create like a really cool opportunity for Hyoka to like show up out of nowhere thin air. Like all she needs to do is just like observe Index and touch her and she'll be back or something. I'm not really sure if it's the same mechanic, but like maybe there'll be like a really hype moment where it's just like, Oh no, everything is so dire circumstances. Who's going to save us? Boom, Hyoka shows up. Alright. Oh, and next has to say goodbye to a friend. Maybe. Bye bye. Is that it? Not just yet. We got the ending playing with some little visuals. Good luck getting ready for the Dai Hase Festival. You got some sort of festival happening? Is Index 2 Season 2? Aogami Sister. No, it's Chimikara Sister. Like, wait. This is Chimikara Sister, right? This is not Aogami Sister. Is it Aogami's sister or is it Chimikara's sister? Which one? No, don't say yes. You guys are saying yes, but I don't know what you're saying yes to. Aogami or Chimikara? Chimikara. She must be so, like, special. I refuse to believe she's a random sister that has nothing to do with the plot. Well, like, like I, she gotta be super special, man. I still think Aogami is special somehow. <laughs> Aogami has found that magic exists in real life, but through magic girls, Himegami is not impressed. Get the taser out. It is very moe. <laughs> she was ready to fucking tase him, bro. Holy shit. Homoroom. Doing important shit. Who knows? What's this Giga Chat doing? Accelerator. Isaka Misaka. Aww. Yeah. So we have, you know, Accelerator's old, like, you know, the lab girl, right? Yeah, the one that wanted to be, like, a teacher or some shit. And then we have the uh, anti-skill. So these two, I always thought they looked kind of similar, but there's no, like, sibling-ship relationship here, right? They're just kind of, like, acquaintances. They kind of know each other. Okay. Froggy, froggy. Ghetto, ghetto. Misaka ass. <laughs> Don't drop the soap. Don't drop the ribbon. And I think that's it. Is there anything else? Or is this it? There's a little bit left. What's... Post credit? Index mentioned. Kamiya. Yo, who stayed away? We gotta know Joe-sama here. Arc Bishop? Loki Laura Stewart. She just straight up white. All right, Laura. Hello, Archbishop Laura. All right. She's from England. This is English Puritan Church Archbishop Laura Stewart, I guess. Yeah, which sin do you represent? I don't think it's that kind of Archbishop, though, guys. Man, we're getting a fe- This sucks. That, like, we're about to get a festival arc. But, like, we gotta watch a railgun first. Which is not a bad thing. In fact, that's probably even better. It's just, you know, hype up art coming, but we're taking a little detour. But the detour is probably going to be better than anything that we've seen so far, so fuck it. Who is he? Uh, uh. This, I think it's called a book close. Where it ends the way it started. She was on our balcony, the veranda, just like this. And it's how it gets, you know, ended as well. Oh my. 
You need to be more self-sufficient, girl. You need to get your own fucking food. Even Sphinx is getting hostile. She gonna bite us. You ate my head instead of the fucking glizzy. All right, we're back to abuse. And even Sphinx is biting us too. Just my luck. He said the thing. And ladies and gentlemen, that is a certain magical index. Round of applause for the performance that you guys have been giving me on these videos. I truly thought that this was going to be like a dead project, a meme show that got voted in. It's an old fucking show with a lackluster adaptation that cuts out so much content that you pretty much need to know the light novel contents to understand the show, but it's performing really well. And there's like a diehard community that enjoys this show. And I'm glad to have given you my, you know, experience for this. This anime. Okay. I think, a, I think a rating for this is somewhere in the 7 point something, right? I don't know if this, like, because, like, it looks good, and I don't want to fault it. It was, like, the animation style being old because it's, like, an older anime. But due to the amount of, like, rushedness and how there's so many, like, cutout shit that doesn't really make sense for an anime only, I think it's, like, a 7 point something out of 10, a 7.5. But in terms of, like, entertainment value, how much fun I had watching it, it's, like, an 8 point something. And the best part, this is just season one index. We have index season one, two, three. But not only that, we have the Railgun series and Accelerator that we're going to be watching in probably release order. And Toma, he's an absolute giga chad. The main character Toma Kamiya is so cool. It's also very interesting how they kind of erased all his past memories. I'm not sure what they're building up for the future. But the way that he yaps, the amount of like care he has for other people's lives, the way that he's able to justify things and you know he has this classic saying of like let me break that illusion and he literally breaks illusions. Imagine Breaker right? It is so fucking peak. I'm low-key honestly expecting a moment in the future where he literally breaks the concept of like God or religion. Let me break that religious illusion you have with my fucking Imagine Breaker. Who knows where they're going with this shit. But my favorite character probably has to be Accelerator. Accelerator is just so, so sick. Yeah, he was a meanie, but we're going to see a little bit more better sides of him. And we understand why he was being a meanie the entire time. Chimikaru also is fantastic. I think he is so cool and epic. I wish we could have seen more Kanzaki Saint stuff, right? Stere is the coolest 14 year old I know. Index is very cute. In terms of who the cutest girl is though, I'm gonna give it to Komoe Sensei. Komoe Sensei might be the cutest goddamn lollipaba I've ever seen. And that's it for me. We're gonna be watching Railgun Season 1 next. And we're obviously gonna be polling to make sure that you guys are on your toes and you vote in the shows you wanna watch. But at this rate, I think that we can cover pretty much every Toru anime franchise and release order. That's it for me. If you're still here though, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.